Hello and welcome everyone to this video on analyzing data of 360 degree feedback. A junior member of a firm is being evaluated by one or more of his seniors, right? And that too on multiple soft skills dimensions such as client communication, leadership, pressure handling, thought leadership and teamwork. Now, the problem with that is that the data is too unstructured. For example, Jackson Stella, to name, same person has been evaluated by two of her seniors, right? Now, they have given their comments, which is in text form under various dimensions, as I mentioned earlier. Now, this needs to be cleaned and restructured so that the output looks like this. You have Jackson Stella appearing twice along with the two reviewers and the dimensions are mentioned on the heading and the comments made by the senior underneath. So let me tell you, this case study will involve power query, two features, one is called fill down and the other is called pivot with no aggregations. If you are using 2010 or 13 version of Excel, you can go to Google and download power query. It's a free add-in. And once you download and install that, you will have a tab on the top right, which says power query. For those with the later versions, you will find Power Query on the data tab and I'll show you where it is. So let me get started with the case study. First, a lot of you might think, hey, why don't we simply choose the data set? Press Control G, which is for go to, and then click on Special. This will allow us to choose all the blank cells. Once the blank cells are chosen, and then I will press Equal to in the first cell of the selection and choose the cell above, Control Enter. Now that's okay, perfectly fine. But then how do you get the data as shown in the output? A lot of you may recommend, hey, why don't we make a pivot table? Well, if you make a pivot table and put the junior's name in the row field and put dimensions in the column, the framework looks very similar to what we want. But the main problem is the feedback, once it's put inside the value section, which is the maths area, you do not get the text data. You only get numeric values. And that's one limitation of pivot table. This area underneath pivot table, which is dedicated for maths calculation, cannot show you text data. So let us see how this can be done in Power Query. So let me go back a few steps to ensure that my data has been taken as it was appearing in the first step. So I choose the entire block. I go to data tab and then I pull the data from the table range and it does take up the data and puts into power query editor window. Now, the first thing I do is I choose column one, two, three, and four, and you can hold control key down to do all four selections one by one. Once that is done, I go to transform and then within that there's a function called fill. Let's see what this fill down does. I click on fill down and you'll see all the null values or the blanks have been filled correctly from the data above. If you want to undo, you can cross out this red mark and look at the data once again and then do your step once again to complete the process. But this is not over yet. What you'd want is the dimensions, client communication, leadership, pressure handling, all should be in the respective headers, right? So to do so, we'll be pivoting this column of dimensions. So keeping dimensions chosen, I go to transform and then I look for something called pivot column. Okay, so let me click on pivot column. And what does it do? It will pivot all these values of dimensions on the headers, right? But underneath those headers, what is the value that you're looking to get? So that is what you need to define under values column. So in pivot table, it was all numeric data, but here I am going to choose feedback and in the advanced option, I will choose the option called do not aggregate. That means give me the text data as it is. Do not do any mathematical computation. Once I click on don't aggregate, I can click on okay and you will see one by one, all the dimensions have been placed on the header. Notice client communication, leadership, pressure handling, and so on. And all the values underneath are the ones without any mathematical computation. 
these null value means there is no response by the senior under this leadership dimension. So if you want to see that very quickly again, I'll undo my last step. I chose the first four columns. I clicked on, yes, you guessed it right, it's filled down. Next, I chose the dimensions. I then went to pivot column. I chose values as feedback and in the advanced option I am choosing do not aggregate something that your Excel pivot table does not have currently. Once I do that, my data is in the format which I love to have and then finally close and load so that I can get the data back to my Excel. Now the most beautiful part about this is in case there are more respondents in this seminar. For example, let me give my name here and uh, I'm being reviewed by somebody from one of my previous seniors and uh, he is uh, talking about teamwork ability and he says, hey, 10 out of 10 or he says, you know, he is assertive or something like that. So what I do after this is I reduce this extra line item a little on the above and then I right click and I say, hey, why don't we refresh the power query? By the way, if this window got accidentally closed, you can go to data and click on queries and connection to bring it back. This allows you to refresh your data. You notice the data set there. And once that is done, you can be rest assured that it will be done even the next time. So my friends, this was a data reporting exercise on 360 degree feedback survey. Let me know in the comment section how you felt about this.